Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to run through how the yen pairs have been moving lately and a full analysis on uh, how you can deal with it, what we're looking for, future and past, uh, based on my experience. So, of course, what we saw before, and I did do a video on this, if you didn't see it, go and check it out. Uh, there was a massive move uh, in the dollar as it gained strength. The yen became weak for fundamental reasons, okay, mainly uh, sort of moving on to interest rates and things like that. Uh, people flooded to the dollar. The yen got smoked, as we all know. You can see that across various yen pairs. And it comes right up. And of course, I called it short at this point, and it got absolutely uh, slammed down. And that is just because these moves up uh, and the weakness of the yen is just unsustainable. They can't have the currency go 50% one way. Okay, it's just not sustainable for them. And mainly it comes down to imports and exports and things like that. But we won't go into that uh, too much. What we're really concerned about is what we saw and what's happening now and how we can deal with it. So as you'll know, uh, I like to scale into the market. I like to attain market value with strict position sizes so that I'm always taking gains over time. I don't want mass exposure. I don't want to be completely at risk. I want to split up my capital so I can maintain any falls. Now, you can see the market is falling at the moment. What I expect at the moment is a little bit of a jitter at this current point we're seeing now. And that is just because you're hitting onto this weak support. Okay, there's a few minor lower time frame support areas if you zoom in and drop your time frames. But really, what I'm looking at is uh, this first level of semi early resistance. Okay, that's right there. And you can see slightly further back minor levels as well. But really, this is going to be your first point of reference for uh, any light longs. Okay, and that's just because you're landing at a place where the market's likely to be reactive and uh, buyers. Are likely to move in now you could have a front runner and split your position up slightly we may trickle further into the level uh, but mainly you're probably going to see these moving averages start to come up now if you're wondering why the yen is falling so harshly it's because of a change with the bank of japan they've let their long-term yields move 50 basis points either side of its zero percent target so the yen is uh coming it's becoming stronger effectively and therefore anything based against the yen is losing value okay and that is why you're seeing things based with the yen moving down now as they move down these moving averages start to catch up and that's because price becomes more fair okay we're not seeing an extreme anymore to either side we're seeing a recovery on uh, the previous up move and that's why we're looking for uh, a bounce and a light long area to scale in now if you're risk averse OK, this area is for you where I just draw the blue line and you're probably going to bump into an early 20 MA as well. And that would be your light long zone. OK. Uh, and that is because you're coming to, as I say, an area that's reactive. The market sentiment is strong for the yen to gain value. That's why we're taking it lightly long and we're scaling in on this fall. You have actually got reasonable market value at this point so you could go a mid-level long i would say and you could push it up there mainly because i'm doing this widely and not everyone sitting at their desk all day trading like me um you know it might be wiser to drop your size but any further falls on that i'm looking to scale into the market long as we come down okay and i'm just looking to get in over time and attain that market value on the fall after that preceding up move so how can you adjust your mindset to really understand how you can get through trading things like this? Because obviously you had that enormous rally starting from January 21, rising to October 22. Um, that was an enormous move. You can see we go from 102 to 152. That's where I said about 50% because it's literally half and more. Um, and you have to understand that when you're trading, your mind needs to be set to a process where you're not going all for one trade, okay? You didn't fall in love with this when it come up, when it came right up. So let's say it got to this point here previously, and you saw it start to move down slightly. You wouldn't load in at this point and say, you know what, everything's great. I want to get into this uh, because you can see it starts to go higher, and a lot of traders fall for that. They lose all their money because they don't understand the market has variance over time, and the mindset you have to have is to understand that there will be swings in the price. It's going to go really high at some times. 
and it's really going to go low at some times. And you have to factor that in before it happens. So it's not about taking one big trade and scoring large and making all the money. It's about having smaller trades and lots of them and diversification because that reduces your overall exposure um, in terms of how concentrated it is on one asset. So if you traded uh, several different currency pairs, for example, and they were all smaller sizes like they should be versus just taking one trade on this and getting blown out on any moves higher than where this blue line is now. OK, obviously, it's much better to spread your risk out because inevitably, whether you like it or not, that is going to happen. You are going to get a ferocious move that keeps going up um, now. Conversely, on the way down, when you reach this support I just spoke about, and perhaps you watch this video, and this is really why you need my courses, guys. They're currently discounted at the moment for a few more hours. Um, you need it because if you'd watched this and you said, okay, well, I'm looking to come down to this support here, and I'm looking for it to bounce away, that may happen. But is it sell your house and trade the whole thing likelihood? No. OK, no trade is ever going to be like that. It has to be a case that you take it long at this point, OK, and you're in lightly and you're aware you might need a front runner. OK, and if it comes lower, you're looking to do the same thing and you're looking for more reasons to be in there long as price comes down and you're more likely to get that rebound. So you're never trading too large for one trade. You're never loading your whole capital into one trade it's going to have to be that you're splitting them up as the market comes down okay so as you go along moving averages or in other words the price gets more or less extreme you can decide what your risk is going to be how fair is the price you've got and in between that you can have risk management rules you can drop your size you can do all sorts spread your positions out you can hedge and everything like that in between to ensure that you're mitigating that risk at all times. So your mind really needs to be set to the fact that inevitably you'll get swings in the market. And it's just a case of using methods like DCA and other things, which I obviously have inside uh, my area, my members area, which include loss mitigation and putting yourself in gains over time with managed capital. So the key takeaway from this, guys, I've spoke a bit about what I expect. OK, I'm usually quite accurate. But what I'm saying really on this is that you should never load into one trade and you've got a clear example of it now. Make sure you remember this for next time. Anytime you wonder about should I take a trade or not or how big should my size be because the market's extreme, you know, don't think oh, I want to load in because the price is so good. Be strict with yourself and manage that risk accordingly. OK, because eventually you are going to get a smasher move like this to the upside. It's going to be enormous. Um, and it's going to happen no matter what, whether you like it or not, that is inevitable. OK, so now on the flip side, we're looking to get long and we're going to trade it that way. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that really helps. As always, just let me know in the comments if it does or doesn't. Um, any questions, just ask and go ahead and join us. See you there, guys.